Welcome to Science Times Rhymes in honor of my students dropping proteins yesterday. They're encoded by genes, synthesizing. We chose an article about endogenous retroviruses, these ancient viruses that might be expressing themselves during development. Thank you, Carl Zimmer, for writing another great article. The human genome is clunky, got a bunch of DNA we used to call junky, but now we know better though, still. About 8% of those used to be viruses, ancient like papyruses. We thought they were dormant, but we were just misinformed and at least one ancient virus activates in embryos. Why would it do that? Stanford gon' let them know. Maybe it's just a parasite. No ma'am, this is the developmental program. Maybe this expression works like a vaccine, defending against viruses attacking. Plus, it might act as a chaperone, helping cellular genes to go and find the ribosome. It's all part of the saga of how a single cell turns into a Snoop Dogger. It's cool but complicated, human genome had its ancient enemy domesticated. This virus is relevant development, how a single cell became a scientific gentleman. Now one of the most exciting things about that particular paper to me is that a scientist called out the Stanford scientist and said, you're claiming a lot of stuff about these endogenous viruses, but you haven't proven to me, you haven't shown me the data that these viruses are actually helping the embryos. So my question to you, the audience, and scientists who may be watching, what is the experiment you need to do to prove to the skeptics that these endogenous viruses are really helping out? See you next week. Genes are stuff that do stuff in your cells, so I love them. Protein P to the R to the O to the T to the E I N S. Protein P to the R to the O to the T to the E I N S. See, protein isn't just protein shakes. No proteins are the building blocks of life. Okay.